Hi, welcome back to the studio. As you see, when I'm not making videos, I'm helping out Santa. Today we're going to be talking about the Boss Amp and Cabinet Pedal. And to help us with this is a very talented local musician, Pat Raimondo. Pat's going to go through some of its settings to see what we think of it. Also, we're going to hear from that know-it-all, Gurn. He's going to give us uh, his thoughts on the matter. And that's coming up next on Roy Studio Adventures. When using a regular guitar amplifier, getting consistent tones in different performance situations can sometimes be a challenge. With the compact and versatile IR2 in your rig, you're always ready to deliver your signature sound directly to a house PA or recording setup when needed. Okay, what's happening? Here we are, Roy Studio Adventures. We're going to check out the Boss IR-2, which uh, IR is Impulse Response. And this is an amp sim and a cabinet sim. And it looks like we've got a bunch of amps here on the right. We've got a clean amp, a twin, a tweed, diamond crunch, British, high gain, SLDN, it's like a Soldano, R fire, rectifier, I guess, uh, modded, and brown. So there's a lot of things here. Um, I guess we're going to start all the way at the back because all the fun ones are up here. So. If you haven't already, please help my channel by hitting the subscribe, notification bell, and like. That way you can be notified of upcoming videos. Just like most amps, presence, level gain. Got them all in half right now, and we've got a three band EQ on top with the top rotaries. So, here's our clean amp. Well, here's our clean sound. Oh, we've got two channels. Okay, okay. Stop the press. But it's got, it seems to be a two channel amp in one. <laughs> This knob will remember uh, where it was on the other channel. So right now, both channels are on clean t twin, so I can keep track of what's going on here. I'm just calling it clean twin, but it just says twin, so it's like a fender twin. Now that's the clean, that'll be the twin. Okay, let's go to our tweed, which should be a little more crunchy. See what the gain does. Didn't love that. Oh, our EQ is underneath. I see. That's our game. Man. What's diamond? Let us know in the comments what diamond is. I would I have no clue what diamond would be. British, so this is going to be our Marshall-y sound. I mean, this Strat is really stratting out everything we do here, so with a humbucking pickup, a lot of these are going to have 
quite a bit more meat to them. Yeah, that's the marshally nasally thing. I could hear it right away. It's not very flattering though. High gain. We need way more higher gain than that for it to be higher gain. High gain. pretty good. There's a nasally thing that they're putting in every one of these IR cabby things. Is that a technical term? Am I allowed to say cabby things on this show? Well, we're always making new terminology all the time. Oops. So what I'm doing here every time is I'm scooping the mids out and re-scooping them, them back in because of the drastic changes that mid-range makes to your overall sound some sounds sound really cool when you scoop all the mid-range out okay so the soldano solden the solden setting i don't like it does not it doesn't give me any sort of soldano vibe I like that one. I bet it would sound really good with a humbucker. And the fact that it's two channels, like a real amp, is really cool. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this pedal. And keep an eye for a video coming out soon with Daryl Gray from Helix. And he's going to show us a couple of his favorite pedals he loves to use on stage. That's it for today's video. Cue the outro.